Hey guys and welcome back to another RuneScape video and in this video I'm not going to be showing you like a 1 to 99 prayer guide it's going to be more like how to do it away from keyboard how to do it cheaply how to save a lot of money that kind of things so let's get started so I'm going to start off by talking about the bonus items that you can use or the thought of things that can increase your experience rates or save you money and first up we have the juju prayer potion every single dose lasts for one hour and what it will do once you have drunk it and you're going through the hour is that it will give you a 5% boost to your experience on the cleansing crystals in the Heffin area in Pristinas. And it will also give you that same 5% boost to your experience whilst using bones on the Gilded Altar. So it will save you money and it will also speed up your experience per hour. So that's definitely something that you guys should be looking into. We also have the Clan Avatar which once you've fed the Anagortic Orts if you're nearby, it'll give you a 6% boost to your experience, which you can use it along with the Juju Potion and any other boosts, etc. Or if you are in the same world as a clan avatar, that will go down to 3%. But being nearby, it'll be at 6%. We also have the first age outfit, which can be obtained from the Treasure Hunter. There are 5 items in total, and if you're wearing all 5, you'll get a 6% boost to your prayer. Or if you're just wearing single items, it'll give you a 1% boost per item. But for having the whole outfit on, it'll go up an extra percent. We we'll also have three auras, the Salvation, the Harmony and also the Corruption. Each one will give you a 1% boost to your experience. It has a 3 hour cooldown, but don't forget that if you use every single bonus item together, you're looking at a good 10-15% you know, bonus experience and also a 10-15% to 15 savings in the cost of your prayer. So that's definitely something that could be really handy. So if you are going to be training prayer with the Gilded Altar, one of the first things you want to do is go to World 31 and join Altar. That's a French chat and they'll give you houses to join that are really fast, they're really close to the Gilded Altar once you go inside the house and it's always free. You don't have to pay for the service but of course they do accept donations and that kind of things. But that's a great French chat to be using if you're going to be training prayer and that kind of stuff. And once you go inside the house, and if you don't know this already, you use your bones on the altar, just pretty much where everyone else is. The way you're going to be going about to doing your prayer runs is that you're going to be starting off at a bank that you're going to be using after using up all your bones. So for me, I'm going to be using my Tokul Zor, and I'm going to be teleporting to like the Fight Cave because it's really close to a bank there. And you can use like the Ring of Dueling, the Amulet of Glory, anything like that that is close to a bank, use it. Once you have filled up your inventory and also your familiar, you use like a home teleport tab or you know like home teleport runes, something like that to teleport to you to your house. But you gotta make sure that your house is in your nil. If your house isn't in your nil, you will be teleported to wherever your house is. So all you gotta do is speak to an estate agent and he'll change your house to your nil for like 5k. It will save you so much time. Then you just enter the house that's been offered you by the French chat or one that you have elsewhere or one that's been advertised outside. And that will be one of the best ways to get back and forth from the altar because it's just very handy. There are loads of ways to train prayer, but I'm just going to mention three in this video. Um, the first up is the cleansing crystal. It's a very fast way. It's away from keyboard. It costs just 11 gold coins per experience. And when you're on the voice of seven, it goes down to nine gold coins per experience. You're looking at 300,000 experience per hour without the voice of seven. And with it, you're looking at about 350,000 experience per hour. So that's the same speed as the Dragon Bones. But the Dragon Bones cost the same price, 11 gold coins per experience. But sometimes the Dragon Bones can drop in price, which means that the GP per XP goes down and it can become cheaper than the Cleansing Crystals. But the good thing with the Cleansing Crystals is that it is away from keyboard. But sadly, it requires the Plague Zen quest to be completed. We also have the Frost Dragon Bones which are currently the fastest bones to be using on a Gilded Altar. You're looking at about 700 to maybe 900, maybe even up to a million experience per hour depending on how fast you are. You will be looking at about 20 GP per XP totaling at about 260 million from levels 1 to 99. And it will only take you about 17 hours though to use your Frost Dragon Bones. But you really got to decide if you prefer away from keyboard that will take about 44 hours. Or if you want to use Frost Dragon Bones, it will take you about 43 hours. So you really got to decide which one's cheaper, which one's more convenient for you, those kind of things. But I'm now going to move on into the final part of this video by talking about free methods or other alternative methods of gaining prayer experience. First up, we have the Bone Crusher, which currently costs 34,000 Dungeoneering tokens. It's a great way of gaining a bit of you know prayer experience on the side whilst training Slayer or really killing any monster that drops bones. It will give you the equivalent experience if you were to bury that bone by hand. So it's definitely really handy and it's definitely helped me gain a few levels in the past 
and it's completely free. All it costs is 34,000 Dungeoneering tokens, which shouldn't take you that long. We also have the Infernal Urns, which acts as the same as the Bone Crusher, but instead it's for Ashes. It automatically picks up Ashes and it puts it inside the urn. And once the urn is full, it will teleport it away for prayer of experience. It's pretty handy whilst killing like abyssal demons, black demons, those kind of things. And it's not bad for about 25 to 30,000 prayer experience per hour, but sadly it does require 61 crafting. And finally we have cremation, which is a great way of training prayer and fire making at the same time. If you haven't watched my video recently, there will be a link in the description talking about cremation. But in a basic nutshell, you use your bones on the fire. It gives you prayer experience and also fire making experience. And it can be unlocked by killing the ghosts or from the Halloween event in 2014. And that kind of wraps up this whole guide in a way. I hope you have enjoyed it. I really do apologize for any background noise. There is a storm going on outside and my computer's right next to the window, so it's banging against the window, that kind of thing. I really apologize about that. I try to get rid of it as much as I could, but of course you might be able to hear it in the background. So, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow, and hopefully there's no storm. Peace out.